Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. Today we are back with the menu books. We're going to be doing menu book number 10, which is a collection of Japanese FR sports cars. And we are, we've already got the Nissan Silvia, but we're looking to get the Mazda Yunus and the Toyota Corolla. Those will be the two challenges for today. So I guess we're going to have to do two races. Uh, so Luke is just telling us a little bit about the types of cars. So these are front engined rear wheel drive cars. So you want to you know, be careful about sliding on the back end. But we shall head off and see if we can win the two remaining cars. Before we do that, uh, the last challenge unlocked the sports mode, which is now open. That's where we can run the daily races and also the multiplayer mode where we can go into lobbies and race with other people online. We will be doing a lot of that, but for the moment, I just want to get through this part of the game. So that means heading over to the cafe, sorry, heading over to the world circuits and doing the next challenge. So we need to head to Asia. And we've got the Tokyo Expressway and the high speed ring available to us. I think we'll probably do the high speed ring first of all. And we need to do a third place or higher in the FR Challenge 450. We need a Japanese car. We can choose the Subaru or the Silvia. I think I'll probably go with the Subaru. And we will just check the tires we've got sports softs um i think we head over to the to the race shop and pick up some soft racing tires will probably be um, a good plan we'll put those on the car it gives it a little bit more grip through especially through some of these very quick corners so two laps we need to get to third place or higher um, I'm not quite sure how this car is going to fare against the competition. Hopefully we will get through the traffic relatively quickly. But we are starting in 8th place, so we've got a few cars in which we need to make up some places. We're catching up on the first two roads pretty quickly. So up into 7th before we get into the first corner. Uh, I'm going to go around the outside of these two cars which gets us up into 5th place by the end, actually fourth place by the end of the first corner. So this car is pretty quick. We've got the third and second place cars in front of us, which we can take on the right hand side through the tunnel, getting it slowed down for this little S section. Just coming in behind the first place car. I want to try and keep this clean, so keeping it careful. He broke a little bit early then. Uh, I'm not quite sure that we needed to break mid corner, so we just went around the outside across the bridge and now it is all about staying clean all too often for those of you that have been following me will know that when i get out in front is when i make my mistakes we've only got two laps of this track it's a very simple track let's just try and keep it in a straight line and just continue to build this nice gap that we've got we've got uh, just coming up for two and a half seconds as we come up to finish the end of the first lap. So underneath the board and a run to the line to start the second lap. And we will be 2.6 seconds ahead. So we've got a very comfortable margin. Just need to think about this one breaking at the beginning of that little green patch. Coming down and onto the bottom of the corner, picking up the speed as we exit the corner. Just bend around to the left as we go through the tunnel. We'll need to think about the S's. So just thinking about where we're going to break. No need to worry about traffic this time, so we'll break midway between the two boards. Possibly a little bit early. But we've got a full second lead, plenty of time. Just taking the curb on that corner and a bit of curb on that corner. Get it straightened up for a run across the bridge. 
And then at the end of this bridge, we've got this tight right angle, so we'll break probably at the beginning of the green patch. That's possibly a little bit early. It's better to be conservative and careful at this point. Just over six seconds ahead at the moment. We've just got this very fast right hander to do, and then we'll just have a very easy run to the line. So, all in all, a fairly straightforward race. A good choice of car, a little bit overpowered, if anything, uh, but that did get us through the traffic nice and easily, and a nice win by coming up for eight seconds at uh, 7.8 seconds as we cross the line. So there we go, first by just over seven and a half seconds. And we can get our clean race bonus, which is rather nice, it takes us up to 15,000 credits. And we pick up the Toyota Corolla Levin. Collector level remains at 20. We're not going to get a lot of collector level points for these particular cars. It's going to be a while before we get up to 21. But we will hit the maximum level 50 soon. So not worry about that at all. Not going to worry about the replay because uh, not an awful lot to see. We got through the traffic quickly, got out into first place and stayed there. So we will come out of here now that we've acquired that car. We've still got a few other tracks to do actually, we've got three there to do, but I'm going to come back to those another time because we're going to head to the Tokyo Expressway and get the third of the three Japanese cars that we need. So again, we're going to be looking for third place or higher to get the Mazda MX-5. I'm going to stay in the, the Subaru, quite happy with that car. Just check and make sure we've still got the racing soft tyres on. So, two laps, third place or higher. And on this one, we want to stay out of the walls. We want to try and avoid bumping other cars and see if we can get another clean race. Those of you that follow me will know that I am great at smacking these walls. And so, just see how we go. So the master's moved to the right-hand side. We're just going to hang this out on the outside of the corner to take the first two cars quite easily. Just getting lined up for the Toyota which is going to drift across to the middle of the track. That makes it a little bit more difficult for us to get by so we'll just wait until we move over to the right hand side so we can do a nice clean overtake. The two cars in front look like they're having a battle so we're going to need to be careful how we overtake these. Oh we got through the inside. Oh no! Oh that was awful! What on earth was I thinking? Quite clearly, I hadn't cleared one of the yellow car. Was, was that me or was that him? We might have a look at that at the end of this race, but that has put us back into sixth place and way off this little group of cars. So we need to get the hammer down. Oh, just being careful we don't turn them too tightly there. We need to get the hammer down and see if we can get on the back of these cars, which we've managed to do. And let's see if we can overtake these cleanly. Past the first one, make sure we have actually got a clean overtake. That door was closing, so a little bit of rubbing there. Just be careful with the barrier on the exit of this corner. Blue car sliding, so we'll go up the left hand side. Flat through here, getting it slowed down a little bit for this corner. Balance the car again. And now we're on the back of the Nissan. At least we just got the one car to overtake this time. Just choosing our overtaking point. Where is it going to open up? Looks like the Nissan's going to make a move for first place. Uh, maybe we should have followed the Nissan through. A little bit over cautious there. Opportunity here. Uh, just nudge the ball on the way through. We will just watch this Nissan that we've already had a tangle with. Oh, heavy braking through there, brake a lot more than I thought. So if the Nissan's going to be braking through the corners, that will be an overtaking opportunity if I can get it lined up it properly. Just falling back just a little bit for the moment. So we should close up. 
as we go through this right hander. Is there an opportunity to overtake through here? We just caught the wall again, which is going to drop me back slightly. Half a lap to do, so plenty of time to get past this Nissan. Although I would have liked to have done it by now. So closing up again under braking, is an opportunity on the outside? No. He's gone for the middle lane, gone defensive. Oh, what a hard break. Got into the back of him. That was a bit of a naughty British touring car style move. Got into the back of him, pushed him a little bit wide and came up the inside. But uh, he was uh, hogging the middle of the track a little bit. So we needed to do something. Not sure if that is going to hurt our clean race. Probably will. And for now, we just need to try and keep this on the track, out of the walls, and just try and bring it home so that we don't have a few corners to get around there. Okay. And across the line for first place. Right, so pretty close towards the end. Oh, we did get a clean race bonus, which is nice. Uh, rubbing those walls and a few banging in the doors was okay, which was uh, good to know. And then we pick up our little Master Roaster. Nice, nice colour in blue. So, we did have a little bit of a scrappy moment in that one. You've got to be very minded, spatial awareness of when you're overtaking, when there are lots of cars around, that you don't pull over and catch the other car. So if we just drop back to the car behind, so this is the Mazda. We can just have a little look at how we're doing. So around this corner, we pull a nice move on the white silver car, that's way over here. And then this is the move. So really, I should have waited until we come through this corner. Um, but I did feel we had an opportunity. And, oh, I definitely, definitely turned in on the yellow car. That was completely my fault. Now we got a clean race bonus for that. I really, really do not know. But put my hands up. Definitely my mistake. Uh, that would have taken us well and truly out of the race. Uh, thankfully, Gran Turismo doesn't have those characteristics built into the game right now. But we did acquire our car, which means I believe that we've now got all three of the Japanese FR cars that we required. So we can go back to the cafe and we'll see Luca and probably learn a little bit about the cars. So, congratulations, all three cars are complete. We're going to get a few stories about them. So, Deep Forest Raceway is now unlocked. We're unlocking a few tracks at the moment, which is rather nice. We've picked up all three cars for Menu Book 10. And then we find out a little bit about them. A little bit about each of the cars. I don't tend to worry too much about these. I tend to go through these these little bits fairly quickly. I'm more interested in getting the challenges done and racing than learning about the cars at this stage. So there we have it. So we'll now move on to menu book number 11, which is the French Hot Hatches. And we'll look at that in the next video. So if you want to catch up with me and you haven't already subscribed, please consider hitting the subscribe button and following the channel along. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. In the meantime, I will catch up with you on the next video coming very soon. Take care. Bye bye.